But speaking to your church specifically at a local level, how, how, does, how is your church handling that? With you being a police officer, you being their pastor, you um, re- really holding to a uh, not social justice, but biblical justice and a biblical worldview and seeking to apply those things. Uh, what, you know, is your church with you, I guess? Or I'm sure plenty of them are. Or, or do you have, even at a pastoral level, are, do you have some of those, those moments with some of those individuals who, who are kind of buying into the spirit of this age? Well, isn't that the temptation? Uh, that's the temptation for us all. Uh, Romans 12 said, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And that's the emphasis mm-hmm. at our church that um, we would be uh, transformed and reject, resist conformity to the culture, uh, to stand up and to speak. He has given us his spirit to speak clearly and boldly of not our truth, as the world says, not as uh, not, a, not a tribal truth, not a ethnic truth, but a, a mm-hmm. biblical, uh, a Christ-centered truth where he is proclaimed and made much of. And, uh, you know, I, I I, I, they know my uh, position, and I try to uh, um, communicate that position from Scripture, from but Good. without any other without any other vantage point. Not be, as a police officer, I don't separate myself from uh, being a police officer, just, or or uh, or anything else. I I come as a servant of Christ, saying, "This is what God says. Thus says the Lord." about every issue. That includes government, that includes uh, the culture, that includes family, that includes uh, all of our life. And I think, Joel, one of the major problems in the church is they have uh, detached Christ from life. Uh, uh, and and the, 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 the separation is um, obvious and it is damaging where Christ is on the Lord's day for an hour uh, or, or two and, and then on, on Bible study and, and uh, whatever service you come to, but then you, you scatter and there is no reflection of his authority in our life. And so when things like this come, when this, the, when things like this threaten the church, w- we are up in arms and, uh, and we're, we're, we're questioning or we're giving uh, an ear to these ideologies that are uh, un, that are godless and pagan and uh, just uh, just it, it's it just plain evil. Yeah, because we have not recognized the falsehood. Yep, I I completely agree, and I think part of it is exactly what you're saying. It's you know it's all of Christ for all of life. It's theology applied. That's the you know that's the point of this show, and and it's you know it's when our theology is actually lived out. And, uh, and I think part of the problem is uh, there's, a, there's a lot of evangelicals today who would, um, they would uh, quickly salute the Bible as the inerrant word mm. of God. They would, they would absolutely uh, affirm that, that the Bible is infallible, that it's without error, it's inerrant, that it's uh, eternal, that it's immutable, that it's, um, that it's also fully authoritative, that it's the, the, the highest authority in all the universe, that it's absolute, that it's universal. Um, all these kinds of things, um, objective. Uh, the problem is that, that you know something like, like social justice comes on the scene or whatever. It doesn't even have to be that issue, but wh- whatever it is, um, y- you leave the Lord's Day, like you're saying, you, know, you, you leave Sunday, you leave the church, and you go about your life, and whether it's in the home or whether it's on the street or in your vocation or in media or, or whatever it might be with parenting, with education, and what, what, you know, what, how are we going to school our children, all these kinds of things, um, it, it's precisely at those points that um, we don't question the authority of Scripture, we, we question its relevancy. We question mm-hmm. the sufficiency of Scripture, not the authority right. of Scripture. But, um, and, and what we think, what many Christians think, is that um, it's not that they're saying, well, I know God has said this, but I, I just want to do that. Um, right. that. That happens. Sometimes we are that rebellious. Um, but, but often what, what I find pastorally is that a lot of times p- people say, I know God says this. What does this have anything to do with that? Yeah, right. they don't. They don't see. They don't see um, affirming, saluting God's word here, and then and then the way they're living in a particular action over there as a as a blatant contradiction. They they don't see how the scripture applies. 
I think that's a big part of the problem. So especially with politics, I think a lot of Christians would say the Bible has nothing to say about politics. And really, pastors need to you know, not really be talking about politics or preaching about politics that has no place in the church. And there's this clear line, you know, separation of church and state, which a lot of people misinterpret what that's actually supposed to mean. And, right. and if the Bible says anything about politics at all, you know, what do we hear most often? Romans 13, Romans 13, you know, submit to the civil magistrate. And that gets exegeted to mean uh, an unconditional submission to the civil magistrate, even when, when, when they might be legislating, um, you know, something that's, that's contrary to God's word. And so there's just, there's just so many misnomers and so many misunderstandings um, about uh, the word at the level of application. I, I think that's a big part of the problem so that we see certain things and and we just Christians would be so quick to buy in to to narratives that are antithetical to to the truth of God's word and and it's not necessarily because of this blatant heart that desires to rebel because we're speaking of Christians with new hearts that um, in their inner being they delight in the law of God it's because in their mind uh, mm. they have not yet conform, be, been transformed rather uh, to the truth of God's word to the degree that they see the connection between God's word says this and, and that means on the, gra- on the ground it means blank. I think it's that, that ground level Christianity, practical lived out Christianity that, that I think a lot of the church is missing. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, uh, we hope that you'll take a moment and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can watch more content like this. Also, take a moment and give this video a like so that it can reach more people. And take a moment and click on the bell so that you'll be notified whenever we come out with new content. Thanks so much. God bless.